Hey, what's up everyone? Edward Lamadrid here, and today I'm doing a comparison video between Spotify Premium and YouTube Premium, specifically for those that are looking to switch or are thinking about switching from Spotify to YouTube Premium. I'm gonna break it down for you from A to Z. Hopefully I can help you guys make a purchasing decision. Both applications have a free version. So both Spotify and YouTube offer a free service to where you can use their products completely free. Now, YouTube has introduced a YouTube music application similar to Spotify, has a similar backdrop with a black background, a dark user interface, and it's, it's a very comfortable application to use. Both use the same function where they play advertisements in between your songs. You can skip songs on both applications. As far as I know, there's no limit on to how many songs you can skip. The major con here is that you cannot listen to YouTube music with your phone screen off. And that's something that Spotify definitely has over the free version of YouTube Music. Spotify Premium for an individual user costs $9.99 per month, and that's in both US dollars and the Euro here in Germany and Europe. The thing that Spotify has that YouTube Music or YouTube Premium doesn't currently have is a student option, which offers students the full premium unlocked version for $4.99 US dollars per month. The $9.99 standard premium version for both applications will give you ad-free music, offline playback, as well as uh, just a slew of different playlists and radio stations that you can subscribe to. There's two services offered by YouTube currently, and that's going to be YouTube Music alone, which is $9.99 per month, or YouTube Premium, the full unlocked version, which will give you access to both video and audio playback. That also includes ad-free, offline, and background playback for all the other YouTube services like YouTube Gaming, YouTube VR, YouTube Kids, and all the other YouTube content that's available uh, on their website or through their services currently. The current price as of the filming of this video is $11.99 for the music and video portion of YouTube Premium. So that's the full service. Spotify has over 60 million songs, original songs on their platform. So if you are really into original content and original songs by the original artist, Spotify more than likely is going to have the content that you're looking for. Whereas YouTube Premium, while there's no set number on how much uh, original music is actually on their application or offered through their services, isn't going to have nearly as many as Spotify. So the thing where YouTube kind of picks up the slack or kind of bridges the gap between the two applications is in the remixed content or the original content that's uploaded by YouTube creators. Now that's either through YouTube music videos, uh, fan mixes, DJ remixes, um, playlists that are created by just random users. So YouTube is gonna have a wider variety of content um, ranging from A to Z than Spotify, but Spotify is gonna have a better selection or a greater selection of original content by the original artist. So it really comes down to your specific need for music, or I should say your desire for music. Aside from the limited selection of original content on YouTube Music or on YouTube Premium uh, for, for artists in particular, their algorithms are not the best. And I say that, um, and I was kind of surprised because I really went into subscribing to YouTube Premium thinking that the intelligence of the algorithms that they use and the automated playlists that were gonna be generated were just gonna be much, much, much more superior than the ones uh, generated by Spotify. However, I didn't really find that to be the case and I found their playlist to be a little bit lacking in diversity and variety and they didn't really get updated on a regular basis. In fact, I, I kind of feel like I'm listening to the same playlist over and over and over again whereas on Spotify I'd log in every day I'd refresh the page I'd get a new playlist I'd get new selection I'd get new music and granted I've been using Spotify for much much longer than I have the YouTube premium applications but I was really kind of let down when I realized that the algorithm that YouTube is using just isn't up to par to Spotify's the the variety just isn't there the regular updates just aren't there uh, and that's something that kind of 
kind of made me sad a little bit. It doesn't bother me too much. I know that they're new to the game and it's probably gonna get better and better and better. And I probably just have to be keep using it. I've been using the YouTube music application for exactly one month now. And, um, and I've enjoyed it so far, but that is definitely one of the biggest cons. If you search for something on YouTube uh, through the regular standard YouTube application, whether it's through your web browser, on your computer, or through your phone, um, whatever you search for is gonna start to clutter your YouTube music recommendations. So here's what I mean. The other day I looked up some karaoke songs because I wanted to listen just to the instrumentals and I wanted to read along the lyrics and have a sold out concert here in my house. The next day when I started driving to work, the recommended playlists were all instrumentals. It was just karaoke. I'm sure there's a fix for it. I don't know how easy it would be to implement, but right now that is kind of a con that bothers me just, just, just slightly. Now where YouTube shines and Spotify kind of falls behind is in the radio generated playlists. Now, I said that the algorithms are something that kind of bothers me because the content isn't updated very frequently on YouTube music, um, but every station, every artist, no matter what you're listening to, has a radio button. And you hit that radio button and the generated content, the songs that are recommended, the music videos that are recommended, it's just so, so good that if YouTube music has one place where they shine superiorly, I don't even know if that's a word, to other applications, uh, it's gonna be in their radio generated playlist. It's they're just they're just that good. The biggest con with this is that there is no big shuffle button. So even on offline mode, you can't shuffle through the songs. You just kind of have to skip through them. So every time you hit play, it's gonna start at the very beginning at the very same song in the very same order, unless it's been recently updated. If you're subscribed to Spotify Premium or even on a family plan, Spotify has the ability to play back audio at 320 kbps so that's their highest quality of audio that spotify offers for streaming and for audio playback and honestly it sounds pretty good youtube premium music or youtube music plays back even if you're a subscriber or using the free app it plays back at 128 kbps so that is less than half of spotify's ability to play um, premium content at a higher quality level. Should you switch from Spotify to YouTube Premium? If you're a student, I would say no. If you're a student and you qualify for the Spotify student option for $4.99 with Hulu included, stay with Hulu. Uh, I just, I don't think it's gonna be worth it for you to switch and pay a higher premium price for YouTube Premium when you have such a great deal with Spotify. If you don't qualify for the student option and you're just a standard individual user that's gonna pay the $9.99 a month for either Spotify music or YouTube music, then it really comes down to a, a an answer of, well, it kind of depends. It depends on whether or not you're only gonna be using YouTube for its music side of things. If you are, then I would still say, no, Spotify is still the clear winner. $9.99 a month for over 60 million songs of original content is just also way too good to pass up. I wouldn't make the switch just based off of that alone. If you're like me and you also consume YouTube on a daily basis, and you check daily or weekly for their content, um, then I would say it's probably worth it to switch over to the full YouTube premium app for $11.99. I would at least do the trial. I'll link it down below. If you enjoy it, stick with it. Go ahead, pay for it. Um, I, I don't think $11.99 is too much for what you get in return from YouTube premium. Um, I personally wouldn't recommend the music application alone for $9.99. Uh, I would just bump up and pay that $2 extra to get the full unlocked version. That's just my personal opinion hopefully I helped you guys make an informed decision and if this video helped you out at all go ahead and just hit that like button leave a thumbs up if you didn't like this video before you hit that thumbs down button just scroll down in the comment section and let me know what I could have improved that way I don't make the same mistake twice I'm really focused on bringing quality content to this channel regardless of how small it may be at the time I'm making this video I typically upload content every Wednesday regarding my life here in Germany as a Mexican American expat. So if you're into that kind of thing, consider subscribing. But that's it for me. I'll see you all next time.